In the quaint town of Oak Ridge, nestled between rolling hills and dense forests, people went about their lives with a sense of serenity. It was a place where everyone knew each other, where doors were left unlocked, and where the community felt like an extended family. However, this peaceful facade masked an ancient curse, one that would soon resurface with a vengeance. One stormy night, as thunder rumbled and lightning split the sky, an old oak tree on the outskirts of town was struck by a bolt. The impact shattered the tree's trunk, revealing a hidden, ancient relic buried within its roots. It was a large, crystalline eyeball, perfectly preserved and pulsating with an eerie light. Unbeknownst to the townsfolk, this was the Eye of Judgment, a mystical entity that could see the good and evil in people's hearts long before they themselves were aware of their true nature. The Eye had lain dormant for centuries, waiting for the right moment to awaken. The lightning strike had provided the energy it needed, and now it was free to resume its grim purpose. As the storm subsided and the town slept, the Eye floated silently into the night, seeking out its first victim. Margaret Lawson was a respected member of the Oak Ridge community. She ran the local bakery, known for her kindness and generosity. But Margaret harbored a dark secret. Beneath her friendly exterior, she was consumed by envy and spite, feeling she had even from herself. That night, as she slept, the eye found her. In her dream, Margaret found herself in a dark forest, the air thick with fog. She felt a presence behind her and turned to see the floating eyeball, its gaze piercing and unyielding. Paralyzed with fear, she couldn't move as the eye drew closer, revealing her deepest, darkest thoughts. The fog thickened, and the eye's light grew brighter, engulfing her in its judgment. Margaret awoke screaming, drenched in sweat. She tried to shake off the nightmare, but the feeling of being watched lingered. Over the next few days, she grew increasingly paranoid, her behavior erratic. Then, one night, she didn't wake up. Her body was found in her bed, her face contorted in terror. The town mourned her passing, unaware of the true cause of her death. The ice hunger was not sated by a single soul. It continued its nocturnal hunt, preying on those who harbored darkness within them. Thomas Hargrove, the town's mayor, was next. Outwardly a pillar of the community, he secretly abused his power for personal gain. The eye visited him in his sleep, and he too succumbed to its relentless gaze. Word spread of the mysterious deaths, each victim found with a look of sheer terror frozen on their faces. Panic began to seep into Oak Ridge, the townsfolk unable to comprehend the malevolent force among them. Whispers of a curse grew louder, and fear took root in the hearts of even the most virtuous. Emily Stevens, a local historian, had always been fascinated by the legends and folklore of Oak Ridge. The recent deaths spurred her into action, leading her to delve into the town's ancient past. She unearthed old texts and scrolls, learning of the Eye of Judgment and its history of haunting those with hidden darkness. According to the texts, the Eye had been created by a powerful sorcerer centuries ago. It was designed to reveal and punish evil, serving as a divine arbiter of justice. However, the sorcerer lost control of the eye, and it began to indiscriminately target anyone with even the slightest hint of darkness. The townspeople, unable to destroy it, had sealed it within the old oak tree, hoping to contain its malevolence forever. Emily knew she had to find a way to stop the eye before it claimed more lives. She sought out Father O'Malley, the town's priest, hoping his faith could provide some answers. Together, they devised a plan to confront and banish the eye. Emily and Father O'Malley gathered the townsfolk, explaining the nature of the threat and their plan to rid Oak Ridge of the eye's curse. They decided to conduct a ritual of cleansing and protection, using ancient symbols and prayers to weaken the eye's power. The townspeople, desperate and fearful, agreed to help. As night fell, they assembled at the sight of the shattered oak tree. Candles flickered in the darkness, casting eerie shadows as Father O'Malley led them in prayer. Emily began to draw the symbols of protection around the tree, her hands trembling with both fear and determination. The air grew cold, and a chilling wind swept through the forest. The Eye of Judgment appeared, its malevolent gaze fixed on the gathering. The townsfolk gasped and recoiled, but Father O'Malley stood firm, his voice rising in defiance. Begone, foul entity! You have no place here among the living. 
The eye responded with a surge of energy, its light intensifying as it attempted to break through the protective barrier. Emily's symbols glowed brightly, holding the eye at bay, but she knew their strength wouldn't last long. Desperation took hold of Emily. She realized that the only way to truly banish the eye was to offer it a soul willingly. She looked around at the frightened faces of her friends and neighbors, knowing she couldn't ask any of them to make such a sacrifice. The decision was clear. Father O'Malley, continue the ritual. I will end this, she said, her voice steady despite the fear gripping her heart. Before anyone could stop her, Emily stepped outside the protective circle, facing the eye. She closed her eyes and whispered a prayer, offering her soul to the entity in exchange for the safety of her town. The eye's light enveloped her, and she felt a searing pain as it delved into her mind, exposing her every thought and emotion. But instead of consuming her, the eye hesitated. Emily's selflessness and courage shone brightly, overpowering the darkness within her. The eye began to shrink, its power waning as it absorbed the purity of Emily's soul. The townsfolk watched in awe as the malevolent entity was finally subdued. With a final burst of light, the eye vanished, leaving behind only a faint glow that gradually faded into the night. The morning sun rose over Oak Ridge, casting a warm, golden light over the town. The curse of the Eye of Judgment had been lifted, and the sense of dread that had plagued the town was replaced with relief and hope. The townsfolk gathered to honor Emily, their savior, and vowed to keep her memory alive. Father O'Malley led a solemn ceremony, blessing the site where the eye had been banished and offering prayers for Emily's soul. The townspeople planted a new oak tree in her honor, a symbol of resilience and renewal. Life in Oak Ridge slowly returned to normal, but the memory of the eye's terror lingered. The townsfolk became more mindful of their actions and their hearts, knowing that darkness could lurk within even the most virtuous. They cherished their community and each other, determined to live in a way that would honor Emily's sacrifice. Years passed, and the story of the Eye of Judgment became a legend, told to each new generation as a cautionary tale. The oak tree planted in Emily's memory grew tall and strong, a reminder of the courage and selflessness that had saved Oak Ridge. Though the Eye was gone, its lesson endured. The people of Oak Ridge learned to confront their own darkness, striving to live with integrity and compassion. The town thrived, bound by the knowledge that they had faced a great evil and emerged stronger.